What's up guys, it's Courtney, and today I wanted to show you a beat I made using the Artifon Orba, which is a pretty cool little gadget. Honestly, for something so small, it packs a pretty big punch, but I wanted to show you this beat I made using it, so without further ado, let's go. <laughs> And if you like this beat, it will be on streaming platforms coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Which brings me to the sponsor of this video, DistroKid. I've been using them for like three years now. They make it super easy to upload music to streaming platforms, but they also make it really easy to promote your music once it's on there as well. They have these promo cards that are pre-made graphics. You can save them to your phone, you can save them to your computer, and then upload them to Twitter or Instagram stories, and it's just a really easy way to promote your music with a nice fresh graphic that you didn't have to make. Also, be sure to check out their hyper follow link, especially if you're trying to have a one-stop shop for your links and like your bios and stuff so you don't have to have links all over the place. It's just one link and it redirects people to wherever you would like them to go because it's completely customizable. You can put whatever link you want to within this link. That's a lot of links I know it helps. It helps you get those pre-saves, which help you get into playlists. It's a very, very good feature and you should be utilizing it, especially if you have DistroKid right now. But now let's get back to the video because I want to tell you about this art font Orba, what it is and how much it costs, all that jazz. It's about $99. It's a MIDI controller, a looper, a synthesizer. It also has a built-in speaker in it. So if all you wanted to use was this and only this, you could. You don't need a computer. You don't, you don't need anything but this and the app. Well, you can put the app on your phone, so you'll need this in your phone, but that's it. That's all you'll need. You could throw both of those in your backpack. But today I'm going to show you how to use it in Logic Pro in the studio because I'm not good with this thing with just the looper. I'm going to be honest. It's a struggle for me. Might not be a struggle for you, but it's a struggle for me. I can't get the timing right ever. I don't know. More practice, I guess. But I think I got it down in Logic, so let me show you guys how to do it. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is hook this up to Logic, so we could do that with the USB cable, or we could do that via Bluetooth. For the video, I'll be using the USB cable, but I'm going to show you really quick how to do it via Bluetooth. So go to your little search icon right here and type in Audio MIDI Setup. Once that's open, you'll go to the window in the taskbar up here and you'll go to show MIDI studio. And once you see the Artifon Orba section right here, just click this Bluetooth icon. And as you can see, you can just hit connect. And now the Artifon is hooked up via Bluetooth to your logic and you will be able to use it. For example, let me show you really quick. Just going to open up Omnisphere. And a thing to note about Omnisphere is you have to change this MIDI channel section right here to one to be able to use this with Omnisphere. I haven't noticed it with any other plugins as of late, but if that happens, just make sure your MIDI channel is set to one instead of all within Logic. And now I have a sound loaded up, but I need to open up the Orba app. So let's open up that really quick. And I'm going to change this to chord mode. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna change the key to E minor. And now that I have that all taken care of in the Orba app, let's switch this into chord mode on the Orba itself by hitting this middle button and selecting pad three and that will change it into chord mode. Now for the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to hook it up via USB. Now let me show you how to use some of the gestures with the Orba within Logic. So I'm going to select this base mode, hit browse on the Orba app. I'm gonna scroll down until I get to radiate only, hit load, go into my effects channel on Omnisphere, click the effect button, 
scroll down until I go to delay for retroplex because it's one of my favorites. I'm going to right click on this fader right here and say MIDI CC Learn. And now we can use that within Omnisphere. Now let's go back to Orba and select drum. Go back into Logic and let's select the drum machine designer. Now some things to take note of is when we drag these samples in, we wanna make sure that when we press this, we've dragged the samples to the appropriate highlighted pad within Logic. So for example, the first one on the Orba, it lights up on the first pad within Logic, but the second lights up on the third. So just be cautious of that when you are loading in your drum samples. So let's load in some samples from Splice really quick and see what we can come up with. Got the kick down, now let's add the snare. And remember, since number two is on this third pad, we have to drag it to the third pad. Now for a hi-hat. And when we hit this third button on the Orba, it's right here, so let's drag that hi-hat over there. And that is how you use the Art of One Orba within Logic Pro. Like I said, this is a looper. However, that doesn't really fit my workflow because I'm a much more visual person and I like to see my arrangement, whereas just using this and trying to listen to everything, its it just doesn't work for me, but it might work for you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and not for my ego. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button as well as that little bell so you get a notification every single time I post. I hope you guys have a happy holiday and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.